Hello everyone. Uh, we're going to solve problem 2.25 from Crowell. So let's get into it. In a race, you're on the first half of the distance at speed u. The second half at speed b. Find the overall speed. That means the total distance divided by the total time. So Usually, when you try to read these kind of problems and you don't know what to do first, I like to do a drawing. That will always help me understand the situation. So, let's make a drawing. I have a straight line. I'm going to move my camera here. I have a straight line because it's a race. I'm going to start here with the star. So, I'm starting at zero x over 2, x. So the first half of the distance x over from 0 to x over 2, you run a speed u. So velocity 1 equals u. From the second half, a speed b. So from x over 2 over x, you run b. Mm -hmm. OK. So after we have our drawing, we kind of see what's going on. I like to identify everything that's been given to me in this problem. So in this problem, uh, the variables that I'm going to be working with are initial position, final position, initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, and time for both velocities. Why am I doing these for both velocities? Because they are they're not the same velocities, they don't have the same accelerations. So we're gonna break it down into two problem two parts of the problem. Okay? So the initial position for the first velocity for the first half of the race you start at 0 and you end at x over 2. The initial velocity, you start at velocity u and end at velocity u. Start velocity u, end at u, solution is 0 because they're the same. And time, we don't know. Time 1. Now, for the second part of the problem, you're going to start at x over 2 and end at x. Your initial velocity is b because you're going to change here, this is B, this is U, this is U, this is B. And at B, because it, it, nowhere in the problem is telling us that he stops at the end of the race, we just know that it runs. And that's something that happens in a lot of races, they keep with the same speed, like further further from the end line. So that's pretty common. Acceleration is zero. And time, we don't know the time. Then everything that I don't know in this problem. This problem, I asked myself in this question, what is the question asking me? So this problem is asking me to find the total distance divided by the total time or the overall speed. So notice that we're talking about speed, not velocity. So speed is a scalar, so it means we just want the magnitude. So he might as well be running towards the left, but we don't care about that. And velocity has both magnitude plus direction. And in this case, we're not dealing with velocity. So my overall speed is what I'm looking for be total and we are missing times time for object one and time for object two we have everything else in this table except the times so when i talk about equations is i mean what are the strategies that i have to solve this problem so i have that velocity total equals total distance over total time 
I know that total time is time 1 plus time 2. And I know that velocity equals distance over time. And speed equals distance over time. Okay. So let's do that. We're going to find out what the times are. So I'm going to solve this equation for time. So time equals position over velocity, speed. So let's substitute everything. So the strategy we're going to follow, we're going to find times for both objects and then replace that equation into this equation. So let's find the times. So time for object one equals x over u, x over two, because it goes x, it travels x over two in u, and time two equals x over two over b. Why x over two? Because x minus x over two equals x over two. That's the same as one minus one half equals one half. So now we have our times. We are going to add those times for the total time. So we have x over 2 over u plus x over 2 over b. I'm going to transfer the, the 2 at the bottom. So x over 2u plus x over 2b. I'm going to do it a little faster. So these I'm going to simplify a little bit more. I want to add them. So I'm going to multiply b, b, u, u. So they have the same denominator. So b, x over 2, u, b, plus x, u over 2, u, b. They have the same denominator. I'm going to add them together. So that is b, x plus x u over 2 u b so time total equals to this to b x plus u x over 2 u b and now i want to simplify this further i want to simplify as much as i can so i'm going to go with okay i'm going to take the x out and the 2 out times the addition times u plus b over u b. Now this I can break it down. So I'm going to have x over 2 times u over u b plus b over u b. I'm going to Cancel the u, cancel the b's. So my t time total equals to x over 2 times 1 over b plus 1 over u. That's our time total. Now we're going to replace this back to velocity total, speed total. Speed total equals x over time total. Now we have x over x over 2, 1 over b plus 1 over u. Now we have, we have a fraction over a fraction, so we multiply times the reciprocal. So I'm going to have x over 1 times, we're going to have 2 over x, 1 over b plus 1 over u. These are canceling, and our answer is 2 over 1 over b plus 1 over u. So this is our answer. And if we see, this is our answer too. That is 2 over 1 over u plus 1 over b. Okay? So that's question A. Now let's try to solve question B, C, and D. Just making it 
go again. Okay, for problem B, part B, they want us to check our units for the equation. So we know that the units of speed equals meter over second. So we want to make sure that our equation here will give us the same units. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have this our equation. This is 2 over 1 over B plus 1 over U. So I'm going to make this into, into units. So I'm going to have 1 over meter over second plus 1 over meter over second. So this is 2 over, they have the same denominator, 2 over meter over second. I'm going to cancel the 2s going to have 1 over 1 over meter over second. So I have a division. We have division time over division over division. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to have 1 over 1 over 1 over meter over second. So I'm going to do this first. So that's going to be 1 over 1 times the reciprocal, S over M, that's going to give me S over M, seconds over meters. And I have 1 over 1 over S over M. Again, I'm going to multiply times the reciprocal. So our answer is meters over second. Perfect. So that's B. We have units of meters over second. Let's do C. Check that your answer makes sense in this case u equals b. If u equals b, oops, u equals b, it means I'm going to ask this as w. Why w? It's just for me to know that I don't have u or b, or actually, I'm just going to say everything is u. So if I have the race again, I'm going to move my camera have the race again and this is 0 x over 2 x so now the speed u equals to the speed b so u u we know that the time we try to find for the time total so the time total is going to be time 1 plus time 2 in this case the times will be the same so 2 t 1 so or or equation is going to be um, it's going to be time t equals 2 times x over u okay why x over u because this is time 1 remember time equals x over u okay so I'm going to replace that into the equation. Velocity total equals x over, oops, this is, this is 2x because of the, mm -hmm, because it's the distance, x over 2 over u. This is the distance that travel. So it's equal to x over u. So this over x over u would be equal to x over 1 times u over 1 equals u. And it makes sense because the speed, check that answer makes sense in case u equals b. This it would be the answer that we have if u equals b. So if we replace that bt into the original equation we will end up with this so let's double check that that's true so velocity t equals 2 over 1 over u plus 1 over u so that would be this has the same denominator so that would be 2 over 2
Okay. So we have two over two, two or two each. I'm going to divide these two. I'm going to have one over one over u. One over one times is reciprocal. So bt equals u. So these two answers are the same. So it makes sense. For d, we want to show the dependence of the result. If we make the result, we make u and b make sense. First check whether making u bigger makes the result bigger or smaller. Then compare what you expect physically. So let's try to do that. I'm going to get the values of u equals 1 and b equals 1. So let's do that. So bt equals 2 over 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1. That is 1, 2. Oh, this is 2 over 1. I multiply this and make this 2 over 1 times 1 over 2. And we ended up with 1. So our B total, original, is 1. Now let's try to make U equals 2 and B equals 1. So BT equals 2 over 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1. Okay, now we have two different fractions. I'm going to multiply this by 2 by 2. So I'm going to have 2 or 1 over 2 plus 2 over 2. I'm going to add that 2 over 1 or 3 over 2. Then I'm going to have 2 over 1 times 2 over 3. So I'm going to have 4 over 3. So that equals to one one third. So this is one third bigger than this. So we see that if we add that theoretically, if we make the denominator, where, where can I go? Okay, if we make if we have a fraction, let's say one over when we have fractions when we make the denominator smaller our answer is going to be bigger or overall number is going to be bigger and if we make the denominator bigger our answer is going to be smaller this is what is called an inverse proportionality so by us increasing this denominator, by us making this denominator bigger, it makes this overall bottom smaller, making the overall number bigger. Okay, and it will happen the same if if u equals one and b equals two. It will happen the same okay so um, this is all for the video i hope you were able to understand a little bit of what was going on and if you have more questions please don't hesitate to ask thank you have a wonderful day